Breaking news. Heavy security in Oshogbo over Yoruba nation's protest is happening now as we speak. We are all aware that um, Yoruba nation has been going from one Yoruba state to the other to signify their interest and also to encourage the people in the sensitization um, program and all that to you know bring people to up to speed that there is an agenda for Yoruba uh, states to go away from Nigeria and for, from what we call the Yoruba nation. And this is coming from, you know, the heads that the federal government, the government of Nigeria, cannot adequately protect Nigerians. Insecurity is, I mean, is everybody knows about what is going on in the country. I mean, it's a situation where, you know, people just have to take the right move to save lives and property of those that, you know, particularly consigns them because the current security architecture of Nigeria has proven that they have nothing to offer or there is no way they can profess solution to remedy or save the situation. As we speak, uh, you know, Oduduwa's, uh, you know, rally, peaceful rally is supposed to be ongoing, a peaceful one where they just sensitize the people and make them aware of everything with, with preparation to June 12th referendum. However, security has taken over the place because you know that and this federal government is so worried. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. God bless you. Breaking news. Heavy security in Oshobo over Europe nation protests. Heavy armed security operatives on Saturday morning took over the strategic parts of Oshobo ahead of the planned protest by agitators of Yoruba nation. Not really a protest, peaceful rally. They are calling it a protest. It's not a protest. It's a peaceful rally. The development forced the agitators to change the venue of the of the conference. A correspondent to move around popular places in the state capital noted heavy presence of security personnel all around the area ready to tackle Oduduwa's, Oduduwa's nation rally who wants to sensitize the people and bring them up to speed with what they've been doing and make the people aware that they are preparing to leave Nigeria. Operatives of the Department of State Service, DSS, Nigerian Police, Joint Tax Force, Amutekun, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and local vigilante were seen at the OK Ife, Old Garage Freedom Park. In junction of strategic areas, we're all situated, waiting for those who are coming for the rally. The nation lands the protest. The is not protest. The rally had been fixed, mandated in the Freedom Park old garage area as convenient as conveying points, but changed it to November to November 27 bridge around Neko office. African area Oshobo. So this is what is happening right now. People are peacefully planning, you know, to have this uh, rally so that others can understand the plan and all that is going on. But guess what? As we speak right now, this is what is happening. There is the people who do not want, you know, this uh, rally to go on. And so they are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that the rally do not take place. They have they put security personnel all over the place. And listen, guys, there is nothing. It's just, you know, Nigerian government are so insecure. Insecure in the sense that they don't want to act. If these security personnel are at the right place, I don't think that those who are carrying out kidnapping, killing, will go ahead, you know, and begin to carry out such. It is because the, the, the presence of security personnel, they feel that and they've seen that Nigerian architectural security system is porous. That's why they can operate unhindered. Yoruba nation has been going on, you know, the rally has been going on to sensitize people and to bring them up to date that this is what we are planning. This is what we have prepared, you know, in time to come with regards to Oduduwa's Republic and, uh, you know, people need to be aware because when the referendum comes, if people are not aware, they won't even know what's happening. So the constant, you know, there is relations with what you are seeing, your eyes and what is happening around you. 
you know, as you are seeing, it is forming in your heart, it's becoming a picture. And this is what Nigerian government is trying to prevent at all costs. The rally has been stated for today. However, this morning, first thing in the morning, security personnel were all over the state. All over the state. We all remember what happened in Ogun. Now, this is Oshun, you know, and this is what is happening. Remember what happened in Ogun, where the uh, commissioner of police has already sent out a strong message warning parents and guidance to ensure that their children do not join the Oduduwa's rally, uh, that um, they are ready to carry. And, and, and the question is, what is this people's problem? Like, seriously, what is the problem? These youths and these people are coming out to say, this is what we believe in. There is no way in our constitution that goes against, it goes against peaceful protests. So long as it's, on, it's not hindering the flow of traffic, they are going well about their business, doing what they should do, sensitizing people about their quest, you know, recruiting more and getting more and more awareness, creating the awareness, making people understand that this is what they intend to do. I don't see the problem that Nigerian government feels so insecure. Yes, so insecure, so much so that the security personnel that should be deployed to protect lives and property and people are not being deployed to the right place. But guess what? They use them to intimidate common men and women on the street. This is not how democracy is run. This is not democracy. You know, in Oshogbo right now as we speak, this is what is going on. This is what is going on. Heavy presence of police personnel. We also brought you up to date that, you know, one of the young men that came out for the rally in the Ogun State, he's been declared missing since the day of the rally not knowing he has been in police custody. What did he do? No crime committed. His crime was identifying with Yududuwa's Republic, coming out to say, let us go out on a peaceful protest, uh, on a pub, I mean, a peaceful rally, I beg, to, I beg your pardon. Let the people be aware that we intend, you know, to leave uh, Nigeria and form our own republic where we can have unity, peace, uh, you know, and uh, we, everybody can be important. And this is what Nigerian government is fighting against, especially the North. So much so that they've, they've criticized the governors of the North, the, uh, of the South, for having a meeting and declaring that Fulani headsmen are not needed in the South. So, I mean, when you look at the whole scenarios and what is going on, you'll be wondering what exactly is happening in this country. But we'd like you to leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.